Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we get into the video today, I just wanted to say, if you are not subscribed yet, please click down below to subscribe. If you are subscribed, click that notification, like, comment, all that stuff really helps me. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get into what I want to talk about today. You know, this is another video that I kind of wanted to discuss or like talk to people about, not only because it affected me when I was younger in my own personal life and stuff, but I know that it is a lot of people either in the gay community or if you're not gay, getting bullied and talking about your weight. Like, I think we've all gone through some kind of experience with this. But specifically today, I wanted to talk about my experience and how I felt throughout high school, how that shaped me through college, and basically how I look today and like how I feel about myself. This is kind of a heavy topic. I know my pre my other video was also kind of heavy, but I thought, you know, like, why not make videos like this? Why not talk to you guys about the stuff that I think is important or how I feel or get to know me a little bit better about topics that aren't as just like, hey, I'm making cute little TikToks and stuff. I I was overweight in middle school and high school. So during like middle school and a little bit before that, I think when I was around 10 years old, I started to put on a lot of weight. And I don't know if it was genetics or maybe because there was some kind of something inside of me like eating and I used that as like a coping mechanism for, you know, secretly being gay or like having these feelings and stuff that I couldn't understand during the time. But for me, I was pretty much skinny. So when I was younger, I was pretty much really skinny. Um, like the same physique that I have now, all the way up until I like hit puberty. And once I hit puberty, I put on a lot of weight. I went from like being however weight I was um, at a certain height to, I think I was up to at least 240 pounds by the time I was in eighth grade. Um, and a lot of people don't believe that when I say that, or it's not that they don't believe that, but I think a lot of people look at me now and they say, oh wow, you're so skinny, you look great, you look cute, you look attra you're attractive. But it really always wasn't like that. And what I've tried to tell people before is that just because I look like this now, even still, my head mentally kind of has, I don't wanna say it's body dysmorphia because I think that that's a little extreme for the way that I feel, but I definitely know that there is some kind of, uh, there's, the way that I view myself is still skewed because I still see myself as a bigger person or like not good enough. Or I always see myself in this way that like, I need to lose weight or I need to, I need to fit a certain physique. And that might be because I am gay and the gay community has this like ideal image of what you should look like. You know, all through middle school, I was overweight. I was very shut off from a lot of people. Um, I obviously was like, you know, I knew that I was gay from that time, but I never came out until I was about 19, 18, 19 years old. So during that time, I got bullied a lot. You know, people would make fun of me. People would um, say nasty things, talk about me behind my back. They would basically, you know, there were people where you get that question and they're like, hey, can I ask you a question? Like, are you gay or like, why are you gay? And you'd be like, no, I'm not, or try to blow it off or whatever. And I remember this one time, <clears throat> I've talked about this in a TikTok before, but I remember this one time where there was this girl and I think she was my friend or maybe she wasn't my friend, I'm not entirely sure. But she asked me, she goes, hey, like, are you gay? And my response was no, I really just like anime. And I tried to put it off as if like, I'm just this like weird eccentric kind of person who's overweight and likes anime and like nerdy. But at that time I did know that I liked men or whatever my, you know, that I was gay or I am gay. Um, it was really, it, it was really difficult during middle school. It was definitely really difficult even into high school because I never really fit into the same categories other people like play sports or you know like you're hanging out with the other guys and like talking about that stuff i really never felt like i fit in and i think that was like a big part of my the reason why i might have been overweight like there's a whole bunch of stuff that went into it so yeah from the age of like 10 11 all the way until maybe i was like starting college at like 18 i was over like overweight almost i i don't know if my bmi would be obese but um, I definitely was unhealthy. I would eat a lot. I definitely used it to cope with like the feelings and things that I didn't understand. Honestly, until I came out to my family and my friends, that's when I started working out more, treating myself, you know, healthier, trying to like figure out what I wanted in, in my life and, and focusing on my health. 
you know, before that it was it was really difficult. Like I said, even in high school, I went to an all boys private school and that was really difficult. And even years later, I come to find out that a lot of people who I didn't know were gay or queer or however they want to identify themselves, uh, they were there in my high school. They just weren't out as well. And some people, you know, like I would have never, I say I would never have guessed, but obviously that's like a stereotypical kind of thing. But I never would have assumed that they were part of the LGBTQ maybe community or however they identified themselves. I think maybe it also was a thing of the time, you know, maybe now people who were my age, who are my age, who people who are my age, people who are the age that I was <laughs> um, now might kind of feel like they have a little bit more support. And I hope that's true. But during high school, you know, people would just, it wasn't, you know, I will say that like in middle school and high school, it wasn't that bullying where it was like super straight on, you know what I mean? Like it wasn't like, there have been, there were some times where like, people would pull my hair or like make fun of me or make me feel like I was less than. But a lot of it was more that like awkward, you knew that you were that person that didn't fit in. And I think now that I make like YouTube videos and content and I have a lot of followers and people like, you know, do these things, there's definitely a part of me <laughs> that is trying to make up that time from when I was younger. Having people say like, you're good enough is definitely a, it's definitely a nice thing because all my life when I was younger, other than my family, because my family was such a supportive family, but just like society in general during that time and kids and people were saying like, you don't fit in, you're not a part of this, you're weird. You know, that's the thing, like you're weird. Why do you like, I mean, back then, no one liked anime, no one liked K-pop, no one liked J-pop. And I'm the kid who likes all those things and I'm nerdy and I'm like overweight and I wear anime t-shirts and like, you know, just just the things that make you say you don't fit in. You know, I, I feel like I just wanted to talk about this and bring it up because like I said, I think a lot of people look at me and they say, oh, you know, you have everything going for you. But what they don't realize is that like during my life when I was younger, it took me a lot to get to where I am today. And I know that we've, you people talk about things like it gets better for people who are gay or LGBTQ in the community, but really, you know, like it takes a lot and it takes a lot out of you. And, you know, some people just need, some people need more support than others. And luckily I was able to get the support from my family and find people who made me feel like I fit in over my life, but it also took me a very long time. And you know, I think a lot of people are still stuck in high school or they're still stuck in that that mentality. And for me, for some part, I think I am, right? Like you're, you never kind of let that go where you say, oh, I was overweight or I didn't fit in. And like, you still hold those things within you and they don't, like, you just don't, they, they affect you the way that you are today. You know, I still get really super anxious and insecure about stuff and I'm pretty sure it's due to all the stuff that um, you know, happened when I was when I was younger. I don't know if people who made fun of me or the people who were in that group that was like, "Oh, we fit in and like we're going to, you know, how they think of it." Like I don't know if my perspective was like what was my actual perspective? Was I, was my perspective skewed? Like I thought people really hated me when they also had their own insecurities, which might be the truth, right? Like everyone, maybe you're displacing that if someone's bullying you or making fun of you or calling you, you know, I used to speak Japanese and learn Japanese. Like people would call me Tokyo. And now looking back, like at the time I was like, oh, people like me, but I think it was more derogatory. I think it was more like that it was bullying and it was it was it wasn't right in the way that it, it maybe i was too naive to understand what they were doing but overall i just really wonder if you know people had that same perspective if people actually thought that if the way that i thought about how people like thought i was if that was true or maybe i was just like overthinking small little things you know like you really don't know and it's been so long it's been 15, 20 years since those things occurred. But even to today, I still, I still think about them. And, you know, I think about the things that had happened and did I make the right 
choices in some scenarios and stuff and it's really strange how you how those things kind of carry throughout your life i yeah i just really wanted to come on here and talk about it because i think that it's important people understand kind of where i'm coming from i do put a lot of thirst traps out there i do put a lot of things about like my body or I put up a lot of things where I'm, I'm more open now that I'm 30. But I think it comes from the fact that I really am trying to, you know, like with my previous video, I'm really trying to show myself that self-love. I'm really trying to make myself, I'm really trying to be proud of my body and accepting of myself. And in some way, me like showing off how I am or like being open about all of these different things really helps me move forward and feel worth things. And I don't know if that's good or bad, but for me, it's really nice to just be myself and express myself in any way that I want without feeling like I'm being judged. You know, sometimes I do feel like I'm being judged in different comments or I'm scared to post something or I don't want to say something that I feel like comments are going to be negative. But, you know, even to this day, I really haven't gotten super negative comments. And I hope, you know, knock on wood that everyone is really understanding and there's like a safe space and community where you can express yourself without being ridiculed or bullied. You know, I was just talking with someone recently where I said, you know, now that I'm 30, <laughs> I kind of have this perspective of like, it's not that I don't care, but I also am just kind of like, you know, life is too short. I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to be more open and I'm going to be more receptive. And it doesn't matter if I fit in. Like, I'm going to do what I want. I'm going to watch anime. I'm going to be nerdy. I'm going to make these videos. I'm going to do what I want without feeling as if those past feelings from being overweight and ridiculed and bullied come up and have like affect the way that I, I, my anxiety and how I think about stuff. I don't know if this video has helped anyone or explained, you know, some of the things that I've gone through in my life, but hopefully that if you've, if you have felt this way, or if you're going through something right now where you feel like you don't fit in, you're being bullied or you don't have the support, honestly, you know, reach out to me, number one, but also there are so many people out there who are there to support you. There are so many things. It definitely does get better, but there are so many people out there who are willing to support you and want you to fit into their community. So if I, if I can give anything from this video, from what had happened to me or, you know, things that have happened in my past, it's that things do get better. And there are communities out there that will support you and you can fit into them and you don't have to be scared to, to, to express yourself. And honestly, one of those communities can be YouTube and one of those communities is TikTok or one of those communities is, you know, Instagram for a lesser part. But I think for all the negative things that social media is, is you know, we say about social media, there's also some really good benefits that can help people out with support groups and stuff. So, and I wanna be on the other side of that. I don't wanna be in the groups that are like negativity or drama or any kind of those things, you know, not, specifically on YouTube, but just in general. So, you know, I think I wanna make, like I said, I wanna make more videos like this. I wanna talk, I wanna talk about things that have happened in my life and hopefully I get better. I know the story seems like a, it's all over the place, but I definitely wanna get better at storytelling and talking about my life, talking about issues, talking about things that, you know, like story times of things that have happened to me, maybe do some fun things. Hopefully once things get better around the world, collabs, etc. So I hope you guys took something away from this. Thank you so much for letting me ramble at you for however long this video will be. Um, like I said before, if you have not subscribed, please click that subscribe button. If you are subscribed, click the notification bell so you can know when I do post. I don't have a schedule up yet, but we'll see about that. Definitely once a week I'm gonna be posting. Please like and comment and share this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, thanks, love you, bye.